Yep, you guessed that we're on location again for another episode of What's Up with CE. And today I'm going to be talking to you about are you aligned in season with your clients? Okay, so you know, I got a really interesting question the other day from a client of mine that I was working with, and he said, um, "Hey, Claudio, um, you know, I'm really busy right now. I've got like eight listings, and I'm trying to put some sales away as I'm trying to manage the vendors and manage the buyers, and my." Call connects into prospecting has been suffering. Like, is that normal? The answer is yes. Can I tell you why? Because a lot of the time, your business is running very seasonal with your customers. And the way you should be approaching your business on a yearly basis is looking at it of what it looks like. So let's just take January, for example. January is generally for the first two weeks is pretty dead and pretty quiet. Most people are away, they're still on holidays. And, you know, to try and do your calls and connect with people, they're not gonna list their home right now. Come February and March, different, completely different story, right? That means there's a whole lot more listings, you're going to a lot more listing presentations, a lot more appointments, and you're working with a hell of a lot of buyers in that February, March. And then you look towards April, sort of starts to dip down. We've got Easter, we've got school holidays happening, throw Anzac as Anzac Day as well. And April's a bit slow as, as we get into the winter months, it's pretty slow as well. But then you start to go into say September and October and it gets ramps up with all of your listings, auctions, buyers, sellers, everyone's in the marketplace. It goes nuts, right? And then you get to around December and it sort of like dips again and, and quietens down. So what you should actually be planning in your own business is running the season of your clients. Meaning that in the quieter months, like I'm doing this video right now at the end of July, you probably be watching this in August, but the reality is July and August is when you should be ramping up your prospecting because you don't have as many listings as you would normally have, say for example, come September and October this year. Meaning you should be doubling down, tripling down on your calls and there should be no excuses as to why you're not making your calls right now. But once you go into September and October, a lot more time is going to be focused on buyer work and buyer management. A lot more time is going to be focused on your vendor work and vendor management and aligning their expectations of where they need to meet the marketplace. So a lot of time and energy goes into those areas so your prospecting tends to suffer. Is it okay that your numbers are a little bit less in terms of calls, right? Or going out to as many appointments as you would normally like to do? The answer is, yeah, it probably is. And it's okay, but as long as those quieter months, for example, January, get back to work, get on the phones, do the dials, get to some appointments. Same thing in terms of your, like your letterbox drops. In the month of August, in the month of July, the quieter times, you should be ramping up your letterboxes probably three or four times because people coming into spring are gonna be thinking about coming on the market, but if you're not making the noise in the marketplace, they're not gonna even know that you exist. And that includes in social media. So look at the times of the year and start become seasonal in terms of your calls, your marketing plan, and reaching out to your clients when they're, just before they come on, as to making that noise. But if you don't have a plan and become seasonal, you're gonna get frustrated and the market will just go floating right past you. So start aligning yourself with your customers and their behaviors. And once you start to do that in the quieter months, ramp up the volume in terms of your prospecting and you'll start winning more listings, more sales in the months that count. Um, can we just cut it there? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you got this guy looking at me. And what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs>